Hey guys, Eric with the Savvy Campers. Today we're going to install our new uh, Lion Energy Safari UT 1300 batteries and we're going to show you exactly how to do that. And we have a solar kit so it adds maybe a couple more steps, just a few more minutes. We have to switch the solar kit from our lead acid batteries to a, char a lithium charge cycle as well as disconnect the solar so that we don't have live voltage coming on when we are working on the tongue with the battery cables. So uh, before we get started, these batteries were provided by Lion Energy and we're doing some testing and some fun stuff with them. So if you've got a minute, make sure to subscribe and watch our other videos on the Lion Energy battery line. And if you are interested, we've got a coupon code for 15% off. Uh, you can go to Lion Energy's website or click the link down in the description and our coupon code is Savvy Campers and you can enjoy your batteries at a 15% discount. All right, let's move to the front of the trailer and get started. So first off the bat, we're going to look at our solar kit. So we've got about 16.3 volts coming in. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable the voltage from coming in the trailer when we install the new batteries. So what we'll do first is we'll take, take our fuse for our solar panels and pull it out. So now we don't have any live power coming in off the solar. Um, so we can go through and make sure that we don't, zero volts. And then we're gonna cut off power with this um, circuit breaker to the solar kit. There we go. And then we're gonna also cut off power to the trailer. So we've got trailer power cut off as well as solar kit cut off and solar panels cut off. Make sure that you're not plugged in to the house as well just so you don't have your converter on sending voltage to the wires up front. So now let's move to the battery boxes and then we'll pull the old batteries out and put the new batteries in. First let's take our battery covers off so we can get in here. Fairly easy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture of the wiring on these two batteries just so we make sure that we wire up our new batteries exactly the same. So now let's pull the wiring off. Be careful not to touch any ground um, at all. So let's go ahead and take, we've got these two wires for our solar kit. Let's take these out first. There we go. Okay, so make sure we've got, so we've got our ground. That's our ground, it goes from battery to battery. And then this goes to the trailer. Now we'll take the positives off. I always like to take the grounds off first because if you accidentally touch the trailer, then it does not ground out. Like if you were to do the positive and touch the trailer, but uh, whatever you feel is safer is going to be your best option. Now we've got all the connections off, so let's pull this wiring and make sure we've got it somewhat ready to go for the new batteries so we don't lose our spots. And then we'll pull the batteries. So now what we'll do is drop the batteries in the same way we took our old ones out. Like that. And fold our handles down so we've got our positive, negative. Now we'll get the other side in. And then we'll reconnect the way that we took them off. So reconnecting these Lion Energy UT1300s is nice because we've got two options. We've got under the terminal post this big lug that comes out and then we've got also a wing nut. So we'll go ahead and put our connections under there and then on our inverter, I think we'll install on the top wing nut. All right, we'll tighten that down on the positive. Now let's get to the positive on the secondary battery. And on this side, we've got our positive for solar. Okay, so 
So now let's go through and do the negatives. Make sure you do not touch any positive to negative at all. Um, because that will cause a nice spark. The nice thing about these Line Energy 1300s is our previous batteries were 90 amp hours a piece and we had two of them. So we had about nine, as uh, using 50% state of charge calculations, we only had about 90 amp hours of usable. These batteries will give us about 105 amp hours per battery of usable. So we should be able to camp for a far greater amount of time with these new Lion Energies. And the rain's coming, so let's get this tightened up. Okay, so we've just got these two little sensor wires now. I need to put some nice lugs on them, but but for now, we'll put them on the top terminals. Okay. So we've got both batteries, got full power. Now let's button up these boxes and we're done. Next, we'll replace the box on this battery. This battery has less connection, so it should be just a hair easier. Make sure our terminals are tight. Okay, we're tight. Okay, so we've got the batteries all strapped up and we are good to go. So let's go and reprogram our solar controller. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna switch the master power back on. And then we're gonna switch our solar controller on. And now we'll put the fuses in. We'll let that start up. We'll put the fuse in for the charge controller. So now we should be getting voltage now we've got voltage okay so then what we're going to do is program our charge controller for lithium make sure you do this and don't leave it on lead acid if you can because the charge rates are different and it'll uh, be a lot better for your batteries okay so we're going to hit enter for about five seconds so we're going to go to the Sealed lead acid, so we'll hit select gel, lithium one, and then we could go flooded, but we want to be on lithium. Hit enter, 12 volt, 14.2 volt, we'll leave it at that. So we'll hold this for five seconds, there we go. So now let's go to the, we wanna change this to, from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we're on Fahrenheit. Um, that's all we need to do. So we can look right now and we're charging. We've got, our solar is at about 14.4 volts. We're charging at 0.4 amps. And our battery voltage is about 14 volts. So let's go ahead and reset our power generation this year. There we go. Perfect. So there we go. We have our new Lion Energy UT1300 batteries installed, and we've got our charge controller programmed for them. Hope this video helped, and we'll see you at the campground.